previous video we have seen how to uh, um, use this data for our graphs and in this video we will see how to edit the graphs which are uh, uh, which are already uh, done so I am using the same data set auto data set so you can use it and uh, I will go by scatter whatever the graph it may be the editing options are the same for all type of crops so you need not worry about uh, whether you are doing in scatter or uh, anything else so I am using uh, <coughs> sorry data so here we have uh, 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 obtain the scatter plot so now if you want to edit the uh, first of all we will go one by one so if you right click on anywhere in the graph you can see start graph editor so if you give the start edit, uh, graph editor uh, the display will appear like this so in this uh, for uh, giving the title there will be a separate option here on your right corner so you can uh, give whatever the things you needed so scatter scatter plot I'm just giving for the sake so here you can see the uh, uh, content and wherever you need it you can drag drag there and uh, if you need to change the color you can change here the color whatever the color you needed you can change and if you need it in a larger size you can increase your size and uh, the margin is nothing but the left and the right corners so if you need a large margin you can see the margin has been increased when very small the margin is contained so this is the title and if you need to give a subtitle below the scatter plot that, that is the title you can give the uh, 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 the subtitle that is uh, so There is a very small margin we will change to medium and now we will go for subtitle and pg versus price so here it is the subtitle here you are whatever the changes you can uh, drag and uh, you can give and uh, we will uh, if you need to change this uh, y variables or y uh, uh, options and here it, it the same procedure you can change the uh, y label as a price or something else you can give so you can change and if you need to increase the values in the y-axis or at the right uh, uh, x-axis you can uh, increase it by uh, right click and you can see the had a tick or label so in this you can uh, change or edit whatever the things you needed so uh, tick or label properties So in this access properties you can see uh, suggest a number of ticks so if you increase the ticks to 20 or 30 uh, or uh, some of way if you increase here you can see the way, uh, increase in the uh, values so you can uh, also uh, change the axis or the scale of the uh, uh, things so if you need to uh, change this uh, angle to horizontal or vertical you can change here whatever the aspects you needed you can do it over here and uh, if you need to check if you need to have some reach where the exactly the point is you can use the show grid so i will give as a horizontal and uh, meanwhile why uh, if you need to increase the x-axis values uh, same way you can go for access properties and you can uh, uh, change the uh, values and here you can see there is an increase in the numbers and this is a simple way in which you can edit the graphs and uh, uh, for example, if you have a large number of uh, graphs and you have the same title or uh, the same pattern Before editing your graphs, you can just uh, press the start recording So whatever the things you do, it will be saved and after that it will be uh, it, will, it can be reused in uh, some other uh, graphs So uh, we will briefly discuss in the next video If you have any doubts, please comment me. Thanks and please do subscribe